Got my little walking companion this morning. Don's busy uh, blowing the grass that got wet at the end of his mowing last night off the stones leading to the house. Come on, bud. Come on, buddy. Good boy. So it's around 10 a.m. and uh, Don and I have had our breakfast and our walk and we're in Ruby on our way to the spine center place where I had the procedure a couple weeks ago. He's probably going to repeat the procedure today. Um, today I'm having a good day and I'm not in a lot of pain. Yesterday was a super horrible day so I've had some good and some bad maybe overall a little bit of improvement but certainly not the improvement I had been hoping for so he had warned me last time he was probably gonna repeat it so signing myself up for some more torture today with the hope of long-term relief yep and Don's here to make sure his girls That's taking right. care of and be my Superman again so I really appreciate that I was super duper excited almost to the point where I happened to peek at Tesla news during the middle of the night and I almost woke Don up to tell him that our performance model 3 now has free unlimited supercharging for the life of the car that we own um, that was new news apparently it came out way late yesterday and I was happened to peek at electric and um, I was even though it's not our really going to be our uh, travel car out of the state, our, our, our trip car. Still, that's obviously a nice thing. So I was pretty stoked and I told Todd almost as soon as his little eyes opened this morning and yeah. he was pretty excited too. Yeah. How about you, Donnie? Yeah, it was good. Uh, I think, um, you know, that's a, a unexpected little perk for, you know, we, I didn't expect that. So that was, that's really nice and, you know, uh, works out well since we are getting performance and it's retro so anybody who ordered a performance uh, model 3 prior to august 1st they don't have to use the referral code they simply get a uh, life of the of their ownership uh, free supercharging uh, people starting today till september 16th have to use a referral code uh, with sx or performance model 3 so uh, to get free uh, lifetime supercharging for the lifetime that they own the car. Uh, it, it, it isn't transferable. Transferable is very clear. Uh, the other thing is um, uh, I think it was worth noting is um, Electrek's take and I sort of kind of agree with Electrek. They felt that this is it. That after September 16th uh, all you're going to get with a referral code is a year of free supercharging that that's where this is this program has is evolving that t tesla has refined it over the time and they've got it down now that if you use a referral code uh you're going to uh, get a year of free supercharging and then it'll be um uh, and uh, he sounded like that was going to apply to all the cars uh it, you know irrelevant sx performance or otherwise so if you want to get an srx or performance model 3 with free lifetime supercharging you need to use our referral code so don and i are planning to listen to the second quarter earnings call later today we're looking forward to that um be interesting to see hopefully from our perspective it'll be you know a really good story i hope elon's excited to get out there and share it i know um they made some of the goals that they set for sure and um i just i'm gonna take it as a positive i'm sure he's gonna take it as a positive we'll see what the stock does doesn't really matter right we're, we're in long. it for long so yeah. doesn't matter but it would be nice it, i really feel for him if he would just get you know a couple of days of yeah you did a good job all those nights at the factory all those pep talks to the troops all these changes that you tried to improve things that you you know really would i tried to tell johnny the other day effort doesn't necessarily mean uh, achievement but in this case I, I think it does and i i wish he would get uh recognized for it by you know some people saying some good things i know the wall street journal guy that reviewed the three that was a big that made elon's day i'm sure but um i think the question my opinion that's going to come up the most is going to be um do you need cash this year you know he said he doesn't need cash don kind of explained to me that it sort of was an sec issue if he 
told investors he didn't need it and then changed his tune as adamantly as he had said it. So I expect him to say still no, but we'll, I'll be watching. Is there anything you're watching for him to say today, Donnie? Um, yeah, I think that they're he's going to probably tout the, the Model 3 deliveries and the, you know, he's going to try to keep it on message from that point of view. I think that uh, the Gigafactory in China, the money raised for that, he's going to uh, not uh, put that off, but basically uh, pun on that and say, yeah, uh, next year or whenever that starts scaling up, well, at the prop proper time, we're going to raise money for that. Um, and I think the, the most important thing I hope he, he can communicate is that, or, or I I see coming is that this quarter that the third quarter right now really is the make or break quarter because they made uh, the loss per share decreased in the second quarter and basically he's got to he's got to tote whatever the loss per share is for this quarter or, or for the second quarter he has to wipe out completely uh, um, in this quarter so uh, really the earnings call that's going to happen about uh, the first of November uh, you know if he can actually well it'll the news will leak out I'm sure if if they make the kind of revenue that I'm hoping that they make it, all that will leak out and the, it, the stock market will have reacted but I guess what I'm saying is that we are down to yeah, there's a truck coming. Uh, the short list of time on this um uh having to worry uh i'm not worried but uh deal with this because once they achieve profitability if if they achieve and i i believe they will achieve uh, profitability in the third quarter uh once that happens uh th of course it'll continue to be a, a, a noticed or not whatever but the volatility of the stock uh and the uh the the constant battle uh, that you know minute by minute blow by blow of the shorts versus uh, Tesla uh, I think that'll go away it'll dry up I mean there's still I'm sure there'll always be people who short it and things like that but uh, their ability to steer the uh, the, the news on it because when you're making money uh, everything's you know uh, uh, success has many fathers uh, defeat has uh, is an orphan or something like that it's the same thing in financial town everybody piles on um, you know and um, thumps their chest when they're um, trying to short things but when they um, uh, when things are going good the shorts are gonna run for the hills and you're not gonna hear a peep from them and I'll be very happy when that happens so boy we sure are talking about news this morning which I don't normally do because other people do it so well um, but I do want to mention just briefly that I that I read the um, article on electric about the refresh of the model S and X and apparently it going to a horizontal center screen like the three and being more Spartan and you know just those kinds of updates that were coming um, my initial take was uh-uh <laughs> that's partly because I don't like change and that's partly because I really love how things are in my car so but you know give me three months to drive the three occasionally and drive the X and then see how I really feel um, I know I'm gonna be grumpy when the doors on the three don't self present because I'm grumpy when I get in an S and it has the same controls and the doors don't self present so that you know I know that I got to get over that and we won't count that as a knit toward the three but you know as far as comparison of which control mechanisms but I'll you know I gotta gotta drive the three before I know if putting some more similar controls in the X is a good thing or a bad thing I just really can't say one way or the other but uh, I know a lot of people were commenting that have driven the three and the X or the S that they really like the MC, MCU on the S and the X because you can do two tasks at one time and you can really split the screen and that you lose that and there's some people that really like the stuff in front of the driver which they don't like. I guess it's smaller in the leaked images of the refreshed SNX. It's not gone, but it's certainly much smaller than what we have. 
I don't know. We'll see. Um, that'll be interesting, but I, I'm definitely going to have to drive our three when it comes a little bit before I can give an informed opinion versus a knee jerk. Uh, that's changing. I just don't want anything to do with it. So we'll see. Um, for update. White X just went in front of us. Right. Uh, a major interior update. Well, I survived the second. <laughs> Honey, I survived the second procedure. Yeah. Um, I guess he got a really good location with the needle the second time today. Yeah, he was very stoked that he felt like he got the needle right into the joint this time, really, because it didn't move. I guess once it gets in the joint, he can tell it doesn't wiggle anymore. And um, Well, we don't want to get too gross, but anyway, he thinks he pulled out a good bit of the cyst, and right. he's, we're optimistic that I'll have more improvement this time than I had last time, yeah. which wasn't as much as any of us wanted. Yeah, he, he that's right. He had hoped for 50%, and we said it was more I said it was more like 20, 20. a little bit, and um, I'm just supposed to let him know how it goes, and uh, he normally doesn't do this a third time, but if I have like 50% improvement, he might be willing to try once more with me since mine was particularly big. So right. let's, I'm going to be cup half full, give the site chance to heal from the procedure, see where we are, hope for the best. Right. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. And I'm back off Taekwondo for a week to rest up for sure. Um, Don's probably going to get Johnny over there tonight, so we'll, we'll see. That's when there's a Model S. I wave. He flashed. Yeah, I didn't flash, but I did wave. Y'all have a good day. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Do you need a nap or anything? No, I'm good. Thanks. Now them are some wheels. This guy likes chrome. I like chrome too. Don't get me wrong. So I asked Don if we could stop at Walmart. I really meant to get a poster frame for Johnny's new Star Trek poster, and um, that's what we're in here for. Besides, I like running a little errand, getting a little exercise, walking for a few minutes, kind of. I'm doing good after the procedure, but uh, you know, sitting's not great still. All right, so Don turned uh, off passive entry just to see what it does, so we understand as owners what it is like. We know what it's like when it's on. Now we're going to see what happens when it's off. I'm staying away and he's walking closer to the car. And we're not expecting her to do much. Well, she did light up that she knows Don's there. But the mirrors did not fold out and the door did not open. So, and the door is locked. Now the lights came on so it knows you there. So he's double clicking. I'm staying far away because I've got my fob. I can't go close. Yep, he clicked with the fob and then the door opened. We just wanted to make sure we understood it. What it does and doesn't do. We're going to turn it back on because that's really kind of a bummer. You know me, I never take mine out of my purse. I forget I have a fob. So I asked Don, take a guess when he's going to fool with the high-powered wall chargers. And he's got, uh, it's a kind of complicated. Uh, well, it's just I don't have everything. I have some number six wire. Uh, but... I don't know exactly. I've got probably maybe maybe 50 feet, and that might be enough to do the job. First of all, number six is plenty for us because uh, we're going to put it on a 50, we're going to keep it on a 50 amp breaker, which is less than ideal. But um, you have to run number three wire, and really you probably need number two uh, from the panel, and that's very expensive wire. And I don't really want to run it, so uh, we can handle a 50 a 50 amp circuit out there. That's what we're doing now. So I'm just going to share the 50 amp circuit uh, that we've got. But uh, it, number six wire is the correct wire for 50 amps. So anyway, I have to make sure I have enough 50 amp uh, number six wire. The other thing I need to do is they say you got to have a uh, twisted pair uh, number 18. Uh, to uh, connect the communications between the wall chargers and that way they'll share an, the circuit. Which is what uh, Eric Strait, Derek was right. talking about on that channel. Right. He talked a little bit about that, how they can both plug in and the right. and the high powered wall chargers will figure out the charging. That's right, They'll slow, both of them will sp split the charge anyway. Uh, and um, I have to... Uh, I don't have any conduit. So basically I've got to buy supplies. I got to dig up some supplies, kind of 
finalize exactly. I know where I'm going to put one of them. I'm still struggling with where I'm going to put the other one. And um, probably going to get another 50 amp breaker. Have a second 50 amp breaker. And um, uh, that's probably it. So right now, I mean, I've read the, read the book. It was like I had thought. It's no more complicated than I thought. It's just, it's, it's work. I mean, it's going to take me all day to do it when I, when I get down and doing it. But uh, we're going to keep our 1450 outlet. I'm not going to um, remove that. So we'll have a, a method to, to uh, other people can use or whatever, uh, an, another charger. So we'll, we'll keep that 1450. But uh, we'll probably add a second 50 amp uh, circuit to that. But of course, the two 50 amps won't run simultaneously. Yeah, I just said so the point is, is sometime over the next week, two weeks, three weeks, Don's going to gather the parts, finish thinking about it, and then get started, probably. Right. But uh, since we have good charging, he wants to do it, but it's not an emergency. Well, so. And the other thing is the attic up in the garage is a minor disaster, and I'm going to have to pull that And it's hot out. up there, and, and you got to go up there to do this project. So, right, exactly. Well, to run the, wire, uh, to run the conduit... And from the, one to the, the other, other or I'll something. I'll have to go up into the attic. So, you know, I'm not in any big hurry to jump up there to get that done. Yeah, when it's 140. It? 100, yeah. Right. Exactly. Don's new wheels should be here. How exciting. Of course, it's pouring down rain in the middle of the delivery, and Don won't be able to have to charge it, won't be able to ride it right away. But, yeah, this one he had a sign for. So... Don had told me this was a 40 something pound box, so it's pretty heavy, huh? Yeah, pretty heavy. <laughs> His computer told him he wasn't supposed to be Don here. says the FedEx guy tried to tell him he delivered another one of these in the area a few minutes ago. It says King Song on the outside of it, so, you know. It's, uh, you know, he could be really have seen another exact box. Tom won't be the only one. <laughs> right. Of course, it's a box inside of a box. Of course. Well, unboxings would be boring, Donnie, if, uh, you know, it was just poof, there it is. <laughs> poof, there it is. <laughs> <sighs> We have a U.S. power cord. Yeah. Starts manual, a charger. Yeah, there it is. Wow. Gonna have to take it out to the garage. It smells like. Tire. Rubber. Yeah. Gotta love off gassing from plastic, yeah. not. There it is. Wow. That one's got a handle. Yeah. Aren't you, aren't you special? Yeah. Uh, there it goes. Wow, it does have some charge. Oh, it's got lights, Donnie. This meets with my approval. <laughs> Look at it. Look at the lights, Donnie. Did you know it had those fancy yes, LED I knew lights? It had lights, that's right. Well, you didn't tell me. Well, you know. Oh, we're going to be filming at night or dusk so we can get those looking really sharp. I'm, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. It depends on which way you go when you. When Break or headlight? Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. Oh, from both sides. Yeah. Wow. Well, I'm liking this one. I didn't know it had all these features. Yeah, you think it's pretty cool. I huh? like anything with an LED, fancy LED yeah. light. <laughs> I'm easy. It's got, it's got speakers. Uh huh. So you can, as you ride along, you can jam to your favorite tunes. Well, it's Bluetooth to your phone for music, really? Yeah, Bluetooth to your phone. Really? For music. That's right. Wow. Sure Way does. cool, Donnie. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. And when it's not in the middle of a thunderstorm, we'll yeah. test her out. Yeah, I'll probably plug it in here. 
So I just finished reading the Tesla second quarter 2018 update, which they have released, you know, a few hours prior to the um, earnings call, which uh, we are going to try to listen to. Uh, a couple of things that stood out here to me was um, that may, certainly made me smile was uh, demand for Model S and Model X vehicles remains high with Q2 2018 being our highest ever Q2 for Model S and X orders. In July 2018, we delivered our 2000th vehicle in the U.S., which means that our U.S. customers will have access to the full 7500 federal tax credit until we until the end of 2018, at which point it will phase out over the course of 2019, which we knew. We produced 53,339 vehicles in Q2 and delivered 22,319 Model S and X vehicles and 18,449 Model 3 vehicles, totaling 40,768 deliveries. So that, that really sounded good to me. Um, another takeaway for me was it sounds like they have no plans to actually invest any capital over in China before 2019, thus not needing to um, try to go out and get capital for that venture in 2018. So um, that makes sense, I think. I also read in here that it said that uh, it would take about three years for a car to roll off the line in China. And also that... Um, the current tariff situation with uh, imports over to China could cause a few car deliveries headed to China to be re-diverted to Europe or the U.S. Maybe that's good for some European customers waiting on the Model 3. I don't know. Um, obviously, once the cars are made in country over there in China, that will negate that uh, tariff consideration. So, all in all, uh, everything that I uh, read there uh, sounded good to me. I, I'm sure someone will pick it apart uh, with a fine tooth comb, but I read it word for word, so I'd be informed, and um, I liked what I read. We're in the car getting ready to go to Taekwondo, and um, yeah, I think Johnny, if he had his druthers, he'd still be in there on Minecraft, but he's going to be a good kid and go do his exercise and uh, check out a sparring night tonight. I really wish I could go with him. I don't like sitting on the side. I'm going to probably go someplace and walk because sitting is not good. But um, you do good in there, bud. Okay. All right, buddy. Do good. Okay. Stay safe. Do your very best. Yes, Mom. Mom loves you. Love My productivity while Johnny was at Taekwondo, I turned three yellow or red gym blue if i had time to do two more the entire downtown fuquay would be blue i added to some gyms and sent some gifts and healed some pokemon and but three gyms flipped instinct and valor bring your game on so they have the intersection closed up here between the taekwondo school and walmart they are paving tonight police officer here directing traffic road detour to the right no big deal. I can get into the shopping center from the other side. And a big thank you to the NC DOT and the town of Fuquay that they're doing that nasty paving at night and not rush hour traffic 5 p.m. on a Friday or even noon on a Friday. Really smart thinking there, getting that handled off hours. Hello. Hey, buddy. noisy equipment over there. My nice quiet yeah. car. <laughs> that was class. You look like you sweated. I did. Yeah. Was it good? Yes. You survived? Yes. Who did you spar? Karen. <laughs> I gave her a fight for her money. Good. Glad to hear it, buddy. Come on, go. Johnny's book. And a book I think Don might like to <clears throat> breeze through. All right. Help me and Johnny out. We don't quite get this license plate. Cod Swag? Cad swag? Well, I don't know. It's got. I think it wins the record for the most um, for the most special characters. A respectable 53 miles today into Carry and back and around Fuquay. Don did come out and reset the uh, monthly trip meter for me, but uh, after we drove to Carry this morning, so it's a little low. It really ought to be at 53.